Hey yo, the Faniac is back. And this time, <laughs> we're gonna talk about 2023 because another year has come and gone. 2024 is already hit. I haven't even, even posted some of my new reviews from what I've already seen this year. But right now I'm just here to briefly highlight some of the movies we saw, I saw from last year. We had a lot of laughs, we all cried I bet. There were a lot of movies we loved. But then of course there were those we loathed. And I'm here to talk about a couple that did that for me today. At least I'm going to highlight five of them. Now, I do know and acknowledge that some people do like some of these movies. I'm just going to explain why they just didn't do it for me. And I'm just going to stick to my guns and hope I don't get banned in the comment section for my list. But let's not beat around the bush anymore. Let's just get right to it. Kick off my list at number five is The Marvels. After rewatching and reanalyzing it, my opinion has still remained the same. While it is a mess, I think it's still a highly entertaining mess. It is tonally all over the place. It makes no sense and it hops from one thing to another while also serving as a lengthy homework assignment. We have to watch Miss Marvel, Captain Marvel, WandaVision, and Secret Invasion just to understand some, some of the plot that goes around in this movie. Because the other... Parts of it is all stuff from what feels like a Captain Marvel sequel we never got to see. And it's brought up very casually as if we're supposed to already know it. But we're seeing it for the first time and we're pretty much told that this all happened off screen in between this movie and Captain Marvel. And man, does it really just jilt you and make you feel even more lost. Especially if you haven't done your homework just to watch this one movie. So what should feel like a very fun, easy movie to take your kids to, instead feels more like a lengthy essay you have to write for your college paper. And that is definitely something we should not want from a Marvel movie. But moving up to number four, we have the Little Mermaid live action remake. The main question I had to ask when re-watching this movie was... Did, it, did this need to be made? Did it have to be remade? Did we have to readapt the original animated movie for this? No, I don't think so. Every time I watched it, every time I had to ask the question and it just came out the same answer. There was no reason. It was pointless. And I will admit there is some fun stuff they added in. There's a lot more chemistry and backstory for both Eric and Ariel. They have a lot of more interactions together. We're able to understand more of their relationship, we're able to root for them a little bit more. But there's also a lot of pointless add-ins, like political talks overseas, the underwater political agendas, <sighs> Ursula now being related to Ariel, a lot of more songs are now added in, and most of them just feel pointless. There is no reason to have them in but to prolong the runtime. Yeah, they actually made this one almost an hour longer than the original. And again, pointless. There was no reason to remake it, and if it's not gonna be remade to be better, then there is no reason to go out and see this one. Now, at number three, I have The Flash. I know that I was very kind and considerate to this movie when it first came out. I gave it three and a half lightsabers out of five on my review. But since rewatching it after the release, because I just got back a couple minutes after rewatching it, and it held up terribly. The visual effects, the story, the pacing is all off. And not even in an off, like, fun way that it's fun to analyze. No, it just feels off. It's fast and slow in all the wrong places. And on top of this, this is just, at the end of the day, a very poor adaptation of Flashpoint. And when there's already an animated movie that did more justice to that story than this, then, man, did they really... I need to go back to the jewelry board at this one. But the biggest insult might be to me that this is supposed to be the big movie that reboots the entire DC universe for James Gunn's universe to kick off. And if this is the big send-off we get, other than Aquaman, then man, I don't want to see how they're going to go forward after this. 
And at number two, we have Fast 10. Or as I joked earlier in my other review, please fasten your seatbelt, because if you're not a fan, you're not gonna enjoy this one. The visual effects and the action sequences are so mind-bogglingly fake that I just can't even look at it. The dialogue is insulting and feels more like an algorithm was writing for this movie. But hey, that's just me. I only think it's slightly more annoying than the last one. And the main anchor for me was Jason Momoa. He really had a nice balance between camp and overacting that made it very entertaining for me to watch. And is the only reason I still enjoy watching it to this day, at least in terms of his performance. But nothing beats the number one movie that I still hate the most from last year. And that, of course, is Ghosted. If you were to tell me that there is a action comedy film starring Chris Evans and Anna Dion Mars, as well as Adrian Brody, in a movie that was directed by Dexter Fletcher, Rockin' Man, Dexter Fletcher, and also written by Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick, who wrote the Deadpool movies, you would at least have me intrigued. At least. That's bare minimum. On top of the line, I think we're in for an awesome treat where I'm just going to be eating my popcorn and just enjoying a nice, fun movie. I'll be at the edge of my seat. For. But we didn't get that. Instead, we got a overstuffed, overly long snooze fest where I'm constantly annoyed at the two leads because they think that the only way for me to root for them to be together is half by having them pointlessly bicker and argue in almost every single scene they're in. So that doesn't make me root for them to get together. That makes me want to hear them shut up and go, like, just leave. That makes it super annoying to sit through and more importantly, very hard for me to get behind them and root for them. But I think the more importantly insult is the fact that I kept forgetting this movie even existed. But then again, I think this is a very hard genre for them to stand out in. That makes it for me the worst movie I've seen from last year. Now, that's just my list for the top five movies that I did not like. From last year. With that said, what are your thoughts? What is your top five list of movies you did not like from last year? Let me know in the comments down below. Please like and subscribe for more content like this. And I hope to get back with my top list of the top 10 movies that I enjoyed from last year because man, I really need to double dip after listing all these five.